VO tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can create some concentric rings, circles, using the polar grid tool. You can find the polar grid tool up here, line segment tool, polar grid tool. And now just double click on it just to see the options. So here's concentric dividers. I've set it number 10, value of 10 and 0 for the radial dividers. Click OK, hold the shift and then just generate the lines. Now at this point what you can do, you just quickly go say 12 point and of course you can also modify it just to add something. I'm just going to undo that, don't particularly want that. But there's the actual basic design. Now at this point you can ungroup it and also what I'm going to do, expand and I'm going to make it just, obviously just fills, but don't have to do that. Another option is just to ungroup, ungroup and so on and so on. Now what I can do then is go down here to the live paint bucket and I'm going to have a slightly different colour set than that. I'm just going to maybe, right, just going to select there and then just going to click there. You can see what you can do. You can change the colour of the, now I could actually change the centre as well. So I could actually have also those set as well. But I'm just going to go for the more like ring design. Just go there. Right, so that's selected. Sometimes it doesn't actually select. You have to double click it just to make certain it's actually gone to purple or the colour you want. Just to select it like that. Sometimes it doesn't particularly seem to change. So, right, so you basically do that. And of course it makes it nice and harmonious if you use this colour guide. So you just go over here, window and colour guide. And that's a very quick change for that. And I'm going to finish it off, just get rid of the final one there. Okay, see what I mean? It doesn't actually seem so to just change it like that. Okay, so there's the basic design. Now you can, of course, what you can do with that, once you've got this, you can ungroup it, modify different parts of it if you wish. But what I like to do quite often is go to put it over into the symbols. And first I'm going to expand it. So just click expand and then just copy, control C, and then put that over there and save it over as a symbol. So the symbols there, and I'm just going to bring back that design there, because when you copy it over the symbols, it becomes a symbol. I don't want to do that, because I want to, and then just quickly change there, and then click there, and randomize the color. I quite like that color scheme, so go with that one. Click OK. And again, now I'm not going to use it anymore, so I'm just going to just drag that over and turn it into a symbol. Okay, so you can see now it's a dynamic symbol, that's a dynamic symbol, we've got a little plus, we've got a dynamic symbol, and then you can change the colour. It's a nice feature, you can use the direct selection tool to modify the colour. Now, once you've actually got that, you can of course then just go over here to the symbol sprayer tool, and I'm just going to just select it, oops, wrong one, symbol sprayer tool there. So always the trouble with some of these things, you suddenly look over and you see that and you think, ah, no, nope, that's the one. It's the little spray can. Now, and you can just spray it and you can fill the design very quickly with a whole rate. Right, and of course you just click as well. That's another option. So just holding it down and you can then spray with the current. You can select this one as well and then paint with that. And you can create very rapidly a whole range of concentric circles or rings. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.